Here on the Thai Myanmar border, a surge of violence has again sent hundreds fleeing for their lives. While all eyes are on the Myanmar military's brutal campaign against Rohingya, a decades long civil war has erupted once again into violence. Myanmar has been in a state of crisis for some time. In the last 12 months, tens of thousands of Rohingya refugees have fled to the northwest of the country. Mountains. Joint Navy and UN forces are stopping ships bound for China, Indonesia, and Australia, full of heroin and crystal methamphetamine. Even with their president's new laws on the prevention of child labor, many of the illegally run sapphire and jade mines are still labored by children under 12. I can't do this. Can you get it through your fucking head? It's not now. Why? It's not like you're in country. We need help, Seth. Still seeing things? Fuck you! I've got it sorted. I just, just not now. She is your daughter, Seth. Lizzie should have her father around once in a while. I can't do it on my own. I've been offered a transfer in Melbourne. I've been talking to lawyers, Seth. I have a case to take full custody of Lizzie. Go fuck yourself, Sarah. Ah! <laughs> uh, thank you for coming. Like I said, if there's anything I can do. Uh, please, take a seat. Can I get you anything? A tea or a coffee? I'm good. <sighs> How can I help you? What can you tell me about Seth Corban, the sole survivor? Seth? Hmm. He's a national treasure. One of the bravest men I know. A rare breed. A true soldier. Trained to succeed no matter what. But that's not what you're asking, is it? You've been doing some research. Well, that's my job. Stay away from Seth. His mind's not what it used to be. PTSD and all of that. A little unhinged, let's say. Your national treasure. I know that they weren't removing landmines. 
observing the clearance of landmines. Dangerous work for anyone, including ex-military types. You can cut the crap, Major. Special Forces operators observing the clearance of landmines for the UN? I don't think so. I have a contact there in the Karen State. I'm thinking of going there myself. <laughs> you go in there asking questions. You'll never come out. Simple as that, Rebecca. Then we'll have to send in people to find you. We'll have to endanger other people's brothers in order to find a civilian who just wouldn't let it go. Are you hearing me? I have to go. I've been looking into him. I know he's a father, a husband. Your killing machine. So how's that working for him? Seth's no family man. Daddy! Ha <laughs> ha! Come here! Nice to see you turned up. Still thinking of leaving? Can't take her out of school, away from her friends, Sarah. Name one of her friends, Seth. Take this job, she can come stay with me. <laughs> if this goes to court, you're finished, Seth. Where's she gonna live? In a dumpster? Mom! Shh, it's all right. Come on, let's do it. about mom. She's been working a lot. I haven't been around much lately, have I? It's okay. When we can't get in contact with you, she gets me a babysitter. She's pretty cool. <laughs> you should have seen him, Mimi. Let me see. It's all just a front, see? It's the army manipulating something. Yeah, he's pretty easy going on the eyes, too. Emmy! What? I mean, he is. Don't deny it. Come on! <laughs> Josh talked about him in his letters. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he said he was like Johnny Cash. Oh. I have to find this guy, Amy. I need to know what happened to Josh. Fantastic. Do you think you have an address? Okay, uh, yes, I do. Uh, um, mm hmm. And that's it. Amazing. Thank you. <sighs> Thank you. Bye, babe. Bye. Captain Seth Caban. You knew my brother. 
Josh Stansbury. You knew him? Yeah, I knew you a little, bro. Nobody gets left behind, hey? And you're the only one here. What happened? All right, here we go, fellas. Three, two, one. Smile. Looking good, Hollywood. Snap. Looking good. Siri and mosquitoes. What do you got? Should we go? Well, I've got a bit of. How about them apples, bitches? Huh? Deflated. No. No. Ah, no. Yeah! Look at me, for God's sake! Josh, yes? Josh? Josh Stansbury. Do you remember him? Do you remember what happened? I'm sorry for your loss, Rebecca. No, but he's still missing. There's not even a body to bury. I can't find him. Did you read the report? I don't believe they were removing landmines. You were his best friend. He told me. You were his big brother in the pack. There is no pack. Not anymore. Look, I need answers. I don't have any. Bartender, Giorgio, no whiskey. Arigato. You speak Japanese? Sakashi, thank you. Nice tattoo. Scotch, just neat, thanks. Scotch? Sorry for stalking you. What's your aim here? To get the truth? What else would it be? Redemption? What are you saying? You've got to be careful who you talk to about these things. There's always someone listening. Paranoid soldier, who would have thought? Just because I'm paranoid doesn't mean people aren't out to get you. How does it go? Silence like a cancer grows. <laughs> Not one to question my missions, Rebecca. What did they order you to do? You were right about your brother. How was I right? To want the truth. That report won't give it to you. Then tell me the truth. Tell me about him. Josh. 
You knew him, you tell me. War changes people. What was he like before? I guess Josh was always at war. If not with our father, then with himself. Daddy issues. Don't go there. Twins have this kind of bond that most people don't understand. Josh was always fighting for me. With boys, with dad. Now you're fighting for him. Tell me what happened to him. It's not that simple. Just tell me something. What were you doing in Burma? If you don't blow the whistle soon, I can't do anything. I can't help you. Seth. Seth. Seth, hey, hey. I know your mission had nothing to do with landmine removal. What about your daughter? Oh, fuck, you do not let up, do you? I want to help you, Seth. I appreciate that, but I'm not asking for your help. I didn't know you were twins. You're gonna be okay giving up those things once we're in the thick of it. You should just worry about existing. Leave me be. Your sisters, right? Yeah, she made it for me when we were kids. So, uh... well, it's my daughter's. Refugees. It's dirty. They're just civilians and some priest. Contact! Fuck! Move up! We can't let this happen. Josh, stick to the mission. It is now. Casualty. 
Okay, put some pressure on the neck. Quick. You got it? You got okay, it? Yeah, I got it. Is she breathing? I don't know. No breath, no CPR. Breathe. Come on, sweetie, please. She's breathing. <laughs> This is priority one, head facial and neck injuries. Are we tracking on the real kid? All good. Twelve enemy dead. Get the fuck out. <laughs> Bring the girl over. Locals will look after her. Leah Gomaya. See on Kothwa Fair. Yeah? It's for her. Some chocolate. We did the right thing. The fuck were you thinking? Hey! Huh? You just compromised every single one of us! Well, she's stand for down! Oi! Hey! Listen to me! Face out! Stay in my Face the fuck out! What in God's name are soldiers like you doing here? What beats me, Gandalf? Why are we here? What do you know, old man? You look for the Australian, Carl Bodie? Well, they his men? Only death follows that man. Where is he? You're a dead man. You're all dead men. What the fuck was all that about? We have no idea. All right. Gotta get the fuck off this track. Birdie will know someone was here soon enough. Sis. Been making new friends, I hear. What do you know about her? She's a ball buster, huh? She's been snooping around. Yeah, you could say that. Oh, she's a smart girl. She knows we weren't in Myanmar looking for landmines. There comes a time when we all need to be honest with ourselves, love. And she will find it. Find what? The truth. <laughs> We're gonna start giving people the truth now, are we? <laughs> truth, lies, doesn't matter. It's in belief where we find peace. You had me bury the truth. We all have our missions. How about you? You still having nightmares? Still seeing things that aren't there? I sleep like a baby. How you getting on with your ex-wife and Lizzie? I had a call from a lawyer. I get it, sis. You train 
for one sole purpose and you give your life to it. And then you get home and your purpose is gone, your meaning is gone. The ones you fought for turn against you and your new mission is restraint. Restraint? Yeah. Restraint. Hey, there's my friend Billy. Hi. Hi. Dad, can we have an ice cream, please? Uh, uh yeah, sure you can. Uh. It's okay, Dad, I'll get them. Okay. You stay here too, Billy. Look after my dad. He doesn't get out much. Hey. What makes you say that? Ah, uh, yep, okay. Did you ever... Did I ever kill anyone? No, save anyone. That's a very funny question, Billy. I guess that's not what you're here for. One soft serve with chocolate. Bye. Bye, Lizzie. Bye. You want to go and play with your friend? No. I want to hang with you. How's that? Good. Before I forget, I might do this. like that, eh? It'd be so cool. <coughs> Dad! Come on. Scotch, just neat. Thanks. Wow. Pleasantries over, eh? <laughs> <coughs> this isn't an interrogation. Oh, come on now. My favourite sport's waterboarding. <coughs> <laughs> it's a confession. <sighs> oh. Yours. Been a while since I last went to confession. <laughs> you should probably know that. I can tell. <laughs> J. 
Jesus, you're trying to get me drunk, are you? I'm trying to get me drunk. <laughs> Fair enough. Well, I like this angle anyway. You owe me an explanation. Forget journalism for a second and forget my professional integrity and all the bleeding hearts out there and the fact that the public deserve to know what their tax dollars are funding and you can forget the army or whatever the fuck you're in and your code of silence. What's left? I am. I'm the sister of your best friend and I'm fucking grieving here. And whether you tell me what happened to him or not, I'm going to find out. Hang on, what are you talking about here? I'm thinking of going to Burma. They will never approve that. Where Josh was killed is a fucking war zone. You can't just walk in with your fucking handicam, you'll be killed. You understand what I'm saying to you? Don't patronize me. I was I'm there not... not long ago. <laughs> I'll take my chances. I'm not getting any answers here, so I don't really have a choice, do I? <sighs> I spoke to your boss lady, a Michelle Pennyshaw. She says that you're sick. And that I should stay away from you. Does she now? <sighs> this guy is amazing. He specializes in trauma. Daddy issues. Rebecca, there are some things I need to tell you. Hey, old stuff. How's it going? You want a drink? She's got one, thanks, mate. Wasn't asking you, cunt. Just talking to the lady. I have one, thank you. Well, how's about a game of pool, then? You'd, uh, look pretty good bent over that table. I said no thanks, OK? Oh, come on, darling. No need to be like that. Cop a beating if I go back without you. Just come over for a quickie. What's going on? Rebecca, now is not the time. No, I Come leave on. at the end of this week, okay? So if you want to show me this courage that everyone keeps talking about, you've got until then. Rebecca! I leave Friday. And you might want to work on your aggression. You look worse. First parade, Monday mornings. What do you want? We may just get your boys back. We've got assets on the ground in Myanmar. Bring them back, why? To address the genocide or to clear up your loose ends? Well, that's none of your concern now, is it? You're retired, aren't you? Oh, am I? Yes, you are. Oh, and the governor wants to give you a medal. Well, we all like a good fairy tale, don't we? You think I enjoy this, Seth? This game we play? It's not a fucking game! Bring him back. Do you know this name? It's just kids, man. Just you shut the fuck up. Nanio Kakwewe. Naro Gano. What are you doing here? Well, growing up is all about change. Where are you going with this, Dad? <laughs> and I thought I'd change things up a bit and start walking you home. How's the sound? 
Dad. Yeah? I'm the kid. I am? I have to grow and change. You're the boring adult. Hey, I am not a boring old man, thank you very much. <laughs> what do you got planned this evening? Homework. Yours. I'm cooking Thai food for a friend. Hello? Hi. I thought you said we were just cooking. We... Uh, <clears throat> we are. I, I haven't, um... Is it the jacket? Too much? <sighs> I'm really sorry about the other night. Thank you. Come inside. When he enlisted, I think he was trying to get back at Dad. You know, Josh was always a bit of a kid, you know? I don't think he ever properly grew up. Yeah, I guess uh, kids are smart, though, aren't they? Mm. Like your daughter. Yeah, I like my daughter. She's amazing. And you forget... You let life punish you so much, you forget the beauty. The wonder. Does this mean anything? Lizzie would make these bracelets for me, but they would, uh, they would tend to break, which would upset her. Of course. So I got this. Mm. It will never break. Touch wood. <laughs> Look, I can't imagine what it's been like for you. But, my God, it's... it's hard to accept that he's gone. You know, we've relied on each other our whole lives, ever since we were little kids. Yeah. Even... even to get through the night. Our father would, um... would come into our bedrooms and... Yeah, I don't know why I just shared that. <laughs> Sorry. That's all right. Uh, do you want some more wine? You, yes. Yeah, that's all right. Gosh, and you had a um, special connection. Yeah. I can see that. To Josh. I don't know if I can live without him. Isn't there someone else? Like a man. <laughs> <laughs> well, all the men that I've, I've been with have all actually turned out to be liars. Ah, have they? Yeah. Yes, yes. Except the kid, he was a good guy. Absolutely. Yeah, he was. Listen, do you see anyone? Do you talk to anyone about your visions? You ever look at these, uh, these fellas and think that they're just three cowards hiding from what's really happening in the world? Mm. I just thought they were referring to the impressions of evil. Like evading a disease. I wouldn't call human nature a disease.
Hey guys, have you seen the specials menu? It's fine, I know what we want. Dad, you just want the chow mein? Uh, sorry, darling, no, I'll just have a house beer, thanks. House beer, and your food order? One chicken chow mein and a small fried rice on the side. One chow mein and a small fried rice. Thank you. Dad? Dad? Seth. And Izzy, sweetheart, I'm sorry, okay? Hey. I'm sorry, your dad's just a bit sick. Look at me. I love you. Get help or don't see your daughter again, okay? Mom, Dad needs me. I do. You're the adult, Seth. She shouldn't have to grow up like this, okay? I promise I'll see you again. I love you so much. I could have heard her. But, Seth, you didn't. I just can't get it right. I'm gonna lose her. You know what the fucked up thing is? I don't even deserve a... I don't... I don't deserve a child. That's not true. Got troops on the ground in Burma. We're looking for the bodies. There's no need for you to go anywhere near there. Do you want to know the truth? Your brother and I were a part of a special ops unit. The mission brief was like any other except this one for me. It was personal. The man we were sent in to take out was one of my old commanders, an evil bastard. On his last mission, he took out his own unit and went rogue, disappeared completely off grid. Until this year, when he popped up in Myanmar killing civilians and running drugs with their military. We had three days to go in, assess the situation, and take out Carl Bodhi. What's going on, big fella? My son's pinned it. I can't find it. Got your pendant. Hand of Fatima. Bad yeah, Gigi boss. Stretch. Better get out of this gorge. Shh. Hey. 
It's the luckiest charm you'll ever have. That lizard. Come on. Seth, are we still on point? Only two clicks from the position. Goats for dinner, anyone? Bullshit. Seth. Just kids, man. Why don't you shut the fuck up? I know where he is. Uh, the Australian like you. The, the one you're looking for. Bring him in. Do you know this man? Where is he? What's up, babe? Find my mom, you're on it. Now, Neil me. Naro Ganu Nanio Kakweme. I trust him. Little fuckers probably work for him. We don't know that. Pretty convenient they survived the attack earlier. What's your the point, boss? Do you know this man? Look at the photo. Mr. Baldy? There you go. What did I tell you? Just because they know who he is doesn't mean they know who you shut the fuck up, Josh. You're gonna fucking scare him. Hey, I'm not gonna scare him. They're fucking scaring me. Well, she quiet. Where is he? Do your fucking job, you understand me? Well, your fucking job, down. that's what you came here to do. You understand? Down, well, she... Seth, it's hey, a fucking ambush. Seth, the two little boys. Those kids are walking fucking landmines. Man, they're ridiculous, they're just kids. Shut the fuck up, Josh! Where is he? Well, she... Oh, shit! A fucking kid, Seth! Stop! Last one. Let us now. Do you work for Buddy? Tell me the truth. Do you work for him? No. He's scared. Oh, he's scared. Mr. Buddy killed all our family. You look the same as him. You look the same as Mr. Buddy. God, Seb. I'm so sorry. No, no, no. I am the fucking one that's sorry. I can never forgive myself. So after I cover the dirt with his brother's brains, we get this kid to show us where he last saw our objective.
and didn't think this was part of the mission. I know. I didn't ask for this either. The fuck happened here? Fubar, huh? Who would shoot up a hospital? Radio this in. All right. Need to clear the rest of the building. Stretch. It's my service. She, no. The kid's with us. Fuck you, Seth. Well, she stand down. The man adore Jala. You're dead, kid. Drop your weapon, kid. Well, she stand the fuck down. Fuck this kid. Guys, I'm under heavy fire. Fuck.
Fuck's I'm coming. Stretch. I shot well, she. What do you mean? You shot him? I was going to shoot the kid, and I couldn't let him do that. Mm. And Stretch... Well, stretch is gone. Military. We're Jots. You, you made a mistake. We're here as part of the landmine observational team. We're UN certified, okay? We got fucking lost. The UN not authorized to be here? If you are not military, what is your organization? Who is your commanding officer? Major Payne. <laughs> That's what we used to call her, you remember? <laughs> That old battle axe, Penny Shaw. <laughs> Fucking hell. <laughs> so she's still sending you spooks out, or is she retired to the country? Sipping tea. Trying to clean that filthy fucking conscience of hers. I don't work for her anymore. I told you, we're jots paired with the UN. Shut <laughs> up, Yes, I am. Why are you here? You know what I really, really, really love? 
of this country. <laughs> It's the tranquility. It's the rain, you see. It uh, washes away the dirt, the mud, and all that's left. What's well, peace? You see, I'm a man of peace. You're not a man of peace, Seth. Never were. You and I we were. We were very alike once. That's the way I remember it. Why don't you just shut the fuck up? Uh, uh, fucking leave him alone. Uh, 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 See that scar? See? You know what I call that scar? I call it Seth's conscience. See, Seth and I, we we played the same game you're playing once, just just the once. Yeah. There was this kid. He was about nine or ten, and he had the drop on me. Seth, he was one step ahead, as per usual. He had the drop on the kid. But you know what? Seth didn't fucking shoot him. Little bastard put a bullet through my bladder. And then Seth just let him run away. No good, though, because we caught the little cunt and his family trying to smuggle opium out of the border, and we fixed them real fucking good, didn't we, Seth? Real fucking good. Oh. Hey? Still can't piss right, though. What happened if you hated him so much? Why'd you come back? Because here... I'm a god. A god, eh? Why don't you lend me that M16 and we'll put that to the test? What do you say? So fucking pretentious. Hey, you came here to kill me, you prick. <laughs> you think you're better than me, don't you? You are fucking piss weak. Why don't you join me, Seth? What do you reckon? Brother, I am nothing like you. Do you hear me? Nothing. Well, if that's true, then that makes you something even worse. A liar. A coward hiding behind moral vanity. <laughs> Your mate there, I don't think he's gonna last much longer. You fucking leave him out of it, do you hear me? Fucking leave him out of me! Leave him fucking alone! He's no threat to you! You want to stick? Fuck off! I'll fucking kill you! I will fucking kill you! Untie him. Sake, Seth, it's really simple, mate. You either kill him or you both die really, really, really fucking slowly. Kill him! It's all about the suffering, really. Before you drown in your own piss. Shit. You get to watch your boyfriend here drown first.
Churupip. Stop feeling sorry for yourself and get the fuck out of here. I got this. When you start giving me orders, I just start sometime. I fuck off. You're coming with me. Baby, you can't. Sit this one out. Go on. Thank you. 
Now get out of here. Kristoff, hey, run away! For a guard, you don't seem to hear very well. Neither did any of your men. My suffering ends here. <laughs> I don't understand. You left him? You let him drown. You're the reason it all turns to shit. <sighs> National treasure. Get the fuck out of here. Rebecca. No, you lied to me. You should have told me that before. God, you be fucking kidding me. Having a bit of you time? Yeah, why don't you come on in, eh? They found our boys. Their bodies are in transit now. We are bringing them back. Does Rebecca know? I thought you should be the first to know all things considered. And that priest who was captured by the Burmese military and killed a few nights ago. Ah, oh, well, that's convenient, isn't it, to tie these things up? Now all you need is Rebecca to be a both fucking bus. Did you tell her? She has a right to know. And I have a responsibility. To you. To those boys coming back in body bags. To their families, Seth. My job description doesn't end with a mission. What is your job fucking description, huh? To maintain the eyes of a fucking monster! Look at me! <laughs> I don't know what to do anymore. <laughs> I have a daughter. I have the most beautiful daughter. I want her to look at me and say, Father, not this. Not 
this. <laughs> it hurts. It will never ever go away what you're feeling. Believe me. I know. But there is help. You can find a way to survive this death. Soldier. They never trained you to be a victim. Let's do this already! Come on! Please let me forget. It's all this rain, and all this mud, and all this, this fucking mud. I failed us. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. They didn't train us for this. I'm so sorry. Josh, please make it stop. Can you forgive me? Can you make it go away? You made it. I'm proud of you. It was me who stood up to Dad first. I guess Josh was always punishing himself for that. Like we all do. <laughs> he was a good man, Josh. He knew that. Rebecca, hey, come on. 
So, just knowing that, that he knew he was doing the right thing, fighting the good fight. That's enough for me. Sorry I'm late. My appointment went longer than expected. Appointment? Daddy! Hey, kiddo. Come here. <laughs> Got your bags? Yep. Good. So, you've got this right? Yeah, I got this. Come on, we better not keep Billy waiting. They call us in MIA. Billy? You know, Mum, a friend from the park. Mm. Come on. Come on, come on. So did Mum tell you? Tell me what? She's not taking the Melbourne job. <laughs> Lucky too. She would have not been very happy there. Yes. <laughs> Dad? Dad? Dad, are you all right? Yeah, I'm fine. <laughs> Come on. Is it your birthday? Um, no. It's a shame. I got this little present, but, yeah. If it's not your birthday... Dad, what is it? <laughs> oh, my God. Really? Yeah. It's a house? Let's go check it out. Come on. I love you, Dad. I love you too. <laughs> 